Hi folks, it's Switchback. Many of us have dealt with a slow leak in a sleeping pad at some point. And so this is gonna be one method for how to find said slow leak and then repair it. So in addition to the sleeping pad, you'll want a little soapy water. Um, I just have like maybe two pumps of hand soap in this with water. I have some blue painter's tape. Uh, it doesn't leave behind the same stuff that duct tape will. And obviously on this pad, a black Sharpie isn't gonna do you a ton of good. But if you are okay with, with marking up your pad with a Sharpie, you can certainly do that instead. I have an air pump to keep this thing inflated while I go. And I have the repair kit. First, I'm going to inflate the pad. It is significantly easier to find a pinhole when it is fully inflated. I can hear that it is full. So now what I will do is start spraying it. And when I find the hole, at least in theory, it should start bubbling in that spot. And make sure that you get enough water on there to actually saturate it. I will also be checking the edges and of course the bottom of it. We have a bubbling spot. There it is. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna bring you over so that you can see it. There's our bubbling. Beautiful. I'm gonna dry that out for now. Let me just mark it. Obviously you can mark it however you like. This is what I'm going to do. I will also be rinsing off all of this soapy water so that the sleeping pad doesn't smell <laughs> like soap, especially since I'm often woo, in bear country. Unfortunately, these little spots tend to be a fail point on a lot of sleeping pads. It's just kind of the way that it goes. So this is the patch kit that comes with this pad. This is the Cedar Summit Etherlite XT Extreme. I'm going to deflate the mat now. So I want this to be pretty flat when I go to repair it. So next I'm going to peel this off here. I'm gonna do it this way because this is kind of opposite of the way that it tends to go when it is inflated. And I'm gonna seal that on there real good. Rub, rub, rub. You want this to be completely dry before you actually apply the patch. Clean and dry. Another benefit to using the soapy water method. And then wait at least 30 minutes before you reinflate the pad. After letting it sit for 30 minutes, reinflate and then check to make sure that that fix is holding. Checking the actual repair now, and there's no leakage, so that's good news. And now checking the rest of the pad. I just want to make absolutely certain that that is the only repair that is needed here. It would really suck if you took it out, and it turns out that there was more than one hole. I know which part of this I've already checked. Any kind of seams, including where this particular pinhole was, and around the edges and at the valve are particularly high risk for having any kind of pinhole. No additional holes. So that is good news. You can see the repair here, looks good. Give a little rinsey rinse. Let it dry all the way before you put it away. Call it good. I hope this was helpful. Like, subscribe, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.